So nighttime temperatures over the next few days are going to be much cooler uh, than we would like. Really want to see temperatures above 65 degrees at night in order to be able to use really any of the products that we have uh, in the arsenal. The one product that I would remove from today until probably first of next week would be Thidiazuron. Days, uh, drop, free fall or take down. These products require warm nighttime temperatures. When we lose uh, temperature, particularly at night, uh, we start to see the activity of these products decrease substantially. You still have several options. You can use something like a Genstar or Adios, which in addition to Thidiazuron includes Diaron. It's a decent product, but even those two products, when we get below 60 degrees at night, their activity decreases substantially. If you choose to run Genstar or Adios, you're going to need to increase the rates. Now, Folex is another product that's listed uh, to work best above 60 degrees. It still works pretty well when we get a little bit cooler, but we are going to have to adjust the rates up. Now, that's really uh, all those products we're really going to think about in a first shot. We've come in and with a second shot, uh, pretty much everything's still on the table. Uh, whether you're going to run AIM or ET, Sharpen, uh, any of, the, any of those products that we really use to singe that uh, juvenile growth, they're still going to work very well. If you're running Folex in that second shot to knock a skirt out or big uh, main stem leaves along the plant, just consider increasing your rate. Now, from a bowl opening standpoint, uh, prep. Technically, ethophon is technically supposed to be used uh, best activity above 60 degrees. So when we start to uh, get into cooler temperatures, activity of that product is going to be reduced. It's going to work much slower. It will still work, uh, but you're probably going to need to increase uh, the rate. The good news is after uh, Monday, uh, we should be in back into the uh, low 60s uh, in forecast as of this morning. And, and in that scenario, you can probably start to consider uh, putting drop back in the mix uh, and definitely looking at, at, at Genstar. Good news, even though it is cool for the next several days, we should have uh, clear skies, uh, decent daytime temperatures, and very low chances of rain.